then we are agreed. A truce for the time being. Quite a significant occasion. I see you've begun without me. We both felt time was of the essence, Wrath. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. I am his wrath. I will not allow that to happen. You know as well as I that he is not the being he once was. The Emperor now hungers for the end of life itself. He would consume us all, starting with you. In resurrecting the Emperor, Revan believes he will succeed where others have failed. But the Emperor will prove far too powerful for Revan or anyone else. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I. For the Empire and for the galaxy. It's over. You've been at my heels far too long. I knew the Rishi plan was a long shot, but I had to try. I had to make it legitimate. I needed to lure you in. You were supposed to stay busy on Rishi long enough for me to finish here, but no! You couldn't do that, could you? You have underestimated me for the last time. Rath, you need to back down. You're too close to all this to see just how much is at stake. I spent 300 years in lockstep with the Emperor's mind. I know what he's become, what he wants. The Emperor must be destroyed completely or he will return and consume every last living thing. There's no cost too great. If I have to snuff out every life on this world by hand to draw the Emperor out, then so be it! Whatever the Emperor's done, or may wish to do, it's my place to handle it, not yours. You're so naive, Wrath. You don't even begin to comprehend what I've become. I was a dark lord of the Sith. I was the prodigal knight. I was powerful. But I was also weak. Not anymore. Now I'm pure, unburdened. I can finally have revenge on my jailer and save the galaxy doing it. I have the power, and you have nothing! You are wrong, Revan. He has powerful allies. Both Sith and Jedi. Allies from all corners of the galaxy. <laughs> Shay, Bizla! Heard the fight to end all fights was going down. What sorry kind of Mando would I be if I missed out? You were saying... I don't care how many of you there are. I won't be denied my destiny! I am Revan! In defeating me, you let the real enemy linger on. You... you doom the galaxy! Say what you will about the Emperor. You're the one presenting a threat right now. He's right, you know. No, not you. You've been so blinded by your unchecked rage, your thirst for vengeance, that you could not see the truth. Now that your power has subsided, I may finally confront you. I only hope you will listen. I was handling this. And you've done well. When I died, I had come to terms. I was ready to become one with the Force. 
But I soon realized that was only what part of me wanted. I cast you out! It was the only way to go on, to remain and finish what we started. You were holding me back. You think you're stronger this way, but you're not. Neither of us is. We're broken. We can't go on like this. I won't stop. Not until I conjure the Emperor. I have to face him. <laughs> you wanted my return. You did not need to destroy whole fleets or turn a living world barren for that. You only had to point the Empire and Republic to a shared adversary and let them do what they do naturally. Make war. The scores of dead have nourished me. I am awakened, and I bring with me still special to me. That is why I will kill you last. The Emperor was not as strong as he might have been had Revan succeeded. But he was strong enough. No! He was supposed to face me. Too... You're too weak. You won't last. I... If we unite, what I am, won't it fade? Become diminished? Lord Wrath, you have endured betrayal upon betrayal. You did not get where you are today through kindness or moderation. It has served you well. You make a fine example. I don't know if I'm ready. You have to be. We have to. You are once again complete. It's more than that. For the first time in a long time, I'm... Myself, thank you for all you've done and for all you've shown me. Dark days lie ahead. The darkest days. If my error can't be undone, everyone will pay the price. Brace for the worst. So I guess this is goodbye. I suppose so. It's been an experience, Theron. Be well to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too, Lana. Try not to get into too much trouble, all right? That looks like you're finally getting rid of me. How's it feel? Just leave. You... <laughs> I don't know why I expected you to be civil. Have a great life there, Emperor's Wrath. Right up to when you become your master's food. And then there were two. And then there were two. It's a wonder we're even here, considering all we've had to endure. When I was advisor to Darth Arcus, I would never have imagined any of this. Your service to the Empire won't be overlooked. No, it won't. It hasn't. Darth Ma has taken notice of my accomplishments. It would seem he has plans for my future. What those plans look like, I can't say. What's clear is I'll need to re-establish order in my life. That means doing away with any intricate entanglements. Nothing lasts forever, does it? How true. You've been close to me like no other. Whatever may come to pass between us, don't ever forget that. If this is our last moment, let's make it one to remember. Next time you gotta fight that juicy, you know how to reach me.
Good luck, you two. Going somewhere. We're headed back to Rishi! Jakaro, I thought you hated that place. <laughs> Jakaro wishes to whip those sorry Raiders Cove pirates into shape. He sees a real opportunity there. What about you? See any of this opportunity? Oh, my word, no. But it should be fun to watch, if nothing else. <laughs> what? Oh, you know I hate it there. That's why we're going, isn't it? Just to torture me. Darthmar, you wanted a word. We suffered many casualties upon the Emperor's return, though nothing insurmountable. Nothing compared to what we would have endured had the River Knights been successful. You are to be commended, of course. But it was Lana Benico's guile and intellect that made your participation at all possible. That is why I have placed Lana in charge of Sith intelligence. This isn't your decision alone, Mar. You'll have to wait for my opinion on the matter. The decision was made by the Dark Council. It is binding. Give us a moment. Yes, my lord. The Empire grows ever stronger. The mining of Isotope 5 has bolstered our energy independence and we're free from concern over the threat of Revan and his followers. That's only part of the story. Yes, our momentary truce is over. We remain at war with an emboldened Republic, and we still have countless enemies, both seen and unseen. I won't pretend to know how the Emperor's transformation has affected you. Enlighten me. When the time comes, I will confront the Emperor, and he will answer to me. Bold, unflinching. Good. You are of singular importance to our future. The Emperor may have abandoned you, but in my eyes, you are ever the Empire's wrath. The Empire is whole once more. It grows and strengthens. Our obstacles are severe, but they are known to us. The galaxy is ours to grasp. Let us reach! <laughs> <laughs>